Imagine standing in the middle of a desert, heat shimmering off cracked earth, sand stretching as far as you can see. Now, picture a river, not a natural one, but a massive artificial river, carved by human hands, snaking through the wilderness. Sounds impossible, right? But that's exactly what happened in Israel. Out here, where rainfall is rare and the sun is relentless, the people of Israel took on a challenge that seemed straight out of science fiction. They built more than 12,000 kilometers of canals, creating a kind of lifeline, an artificial river, to bring water from the Mediterranean Sea deep into the heart of the desert. It wasn't just about moving water. This was about transforming lifeless sand into fields of green. For decades, the Negev Desert was unforgiving, temperatures soared, water was scarce, and farming, Israel's backbone, was in serious trouble. Crops wilted, underground water sources dried up and entire communities struggled to survive, yet just a few miles away the Mediterranean stretched endlessly. The only problem? That water was as salty as the desert was dry. So, in 2000, Israel launched the Desert Water Project. It was a gamble, $3 billion and a mountain of engineering obstacles. First, they had to wrestle with the desert itself. Using satellite maps and radar, they charted every dune, every wind pattern. Bulldozers flattened miles of shifting sand, day and night, carving a canal nearly 250 miles long. But the desert doesn't give up easily. Sand soaks up water like a sponge, so every inch of the canal had to be sealed. Engineers poured concrete, laid down high-tech waterproof membranes, and even planted special grasses to keep the sand from swallowing their work. From above, the canal looked like a silver ribbon cutting through gold. But then came the real challenge. Salt water. You can't just pipe seawater onto crops. So, Israel built some of the world's most advanced desalination plants. Here seawater gets filtered, purified, and pushed through membranes at insane pressure. What comes out is pure, fresh water. But, believe it or not, it's too pure. So scientists add minerals back in to make it safe and tasty. Every drop is tested and tracked, meeting some of the strictest standards anywhere. When water finally reached the Negev, the transformation was instant. Land that had been barren for centuries suddenly turned green. Farmers returned. Vineyards, wheat fields, and orange groves flourished in places that once seemed hopeless. Today, Israel's national water carrier moves 72,000 cubic meters of water every hour, connecting the lush north to the dry south. From space, you can actually see the difference. A green ribbon, a cross, a golden desert. The desert, once lifeless, came back to life. All because people dared to ask, what if? So, do you think technology can really conquer nature's limits? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more amazing stories about innovation and resilience.